This is a certified Bob Sponge 10 classic. Ow. Hey guys. We're doing a Jujutsu Kaisen tier list. I'm back with the fellas again. So, How's it going? What up? So, uh, let's get to it. So, first of all, we've got this girl. And uh, I should say, uh, before we get started, I don't know anybody's name, really. So... That should be that's, that's like Nobura. Okay. Yeah. 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 What do I do think, know her name. What do we think about her? S. Easy S. Easy S tier. I I agree. She's one of the she's one of the better characters in my opinion. Yeah. Her yeah. fight scenes are good. Her powers may be on the weaker side to me, but you know she does she does good work. Yeah. On honestly, I'd say her power is. A little overpowered because I mean, her and Itadori, like when they were fighting those two transformed humans, yeah, like where she's literally like hammering the nail into herself, like he put yeah. a poison on them or something that uh, would stop literally anybody else pretty much in their tracks, and all she had to do was just use her power on herself to like kill or no, no, I don't think she killed the frog guy, but to like damage them, yeah, and when getting away like she doesn't even have to be up on them to fight them as long as she's close enough and has a piece of them she can hammer a nail through it and do serious damage so yeah. it's she's yeah yeah but they, they she would have to have a piece of them to be able to do the damage but she's done that twice now though because she think, did i it. think she'd be better as like a like a supporting you know character rather than like a main like solo fighter yeah i can yeah. see that like, yeah. cause if you get a piece of the of the guy, then yeah, she's awesome. But if 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 she's like on a one on one, say like the tree guy or something, like I don't know, I don't think she would have been able to to do much against him. Oh yeah, and like that first fight where she was fighting that curse that took that kid hostage. Like she she was able to hurt it, but as soon as he got a hostage, she couldn't really do anything until yeah. uh, he until uh, Itadori knocked that piece off of him and he tried to run. Exactly. Yeah. But she's a great character. Personalities, ten out of ten too. Yeah. Yeah. To me, uh, that scene when she like hammers the nail into herself, that's that's what sealed it for me. That's what made her a definite S tier in my book. That was so cool. <laughs> it was. That willing to do whatever it takes attitude. Yeah. She's uh built different. Literally built different. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Now we've got glasses guy. this glasses guy. Uh, mm. uh, I don't know. What do we think about him? Did you did you watch the did you watch the movie, Cameron? <sighs> no, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he does have some time in the movie, but like not very much. Yeah. Not enough to like be able to gauge like how strong this guy is or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all we really know is like he's a car driver. He drives right. people around. Yeah. Not yeah. that much to go off of, I guess. Yeah, uh, right. he's he's a car driver, so so you want to put him in C for car? Uh, I, I'm fine with that. As a, as I was I was gonna suggest B uh -huh. for him, as even though you're right, we have not seen how strong he is or what he can really do, other than just be a car driver and like the, a basic assistant. To people like not even like assisting with uh, the the exorcisms and all that, but the it, it, he's like he's almost like just a secretary. But his I think he's I think he's had some uh, some good dialogue like with Yuji. Yeah, kind of, kind of helped Yuji grow a bit more as a character. Uh, and uh, he he does know how to fight because he does he does take a fight in the movie. We don't actually see the fight, but he does take a a good fight in the movie. So I would assume he's somewhat strong. Okay, so yeah, uh, so yeah. are we thinking B tier for him? I like I like the C for Car, but I like his personality too. I think his personality is 
B tier up, but I like C for car because he is always in a car. Jonathan's all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I can get down with that. That makes sense to me. Not the hard hitting questions. Yeah. Now got this guy. Uh, I can't tell who that is with the pictures. That's, too um, that's like the like manifestation of one of uh, Sakuna's fingers. Yeah, he was the one from like episode, uh, like maybe episode ten or so, where um, uh, I think Sakuna took over uh Yuji and he like defeated him that way. Unless I'm thinking yeah. of something else. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. It was he was he was that curse that like disintegrated Yuji's fingers, like took his yeah, hand. It, like blew his hands off, yeah. He he this guy was also in the like the last two episodes as well. It, yeah. I mean it's like the mm-hmm. same thing, but he was fighting um I can't remember his name, but the other the other main character so I mean, we've seen him yeah. twice, pretty much. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. The guy with the black hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought it was like Fukuru or something. No, no. That sounds it, close. Yeah. It starts with an F. It starts with an F. But uh, honestly, there wasn't much to go on with the currency. I, I, I mean, I liked his dreads. Yeah. And uh, I like Megu- li- Megumi. That's that's the guy's name, the black hair's name. Uh, okay. Fushigaro is his last name. That's where you were getting the Okay, that's yeah. what it is. Knew there was an F. But for this curse, I like the dreads and I liked that it put them in a position like you know how you know how most shonens are, you know like Naruto and Dragon Ball, they fight somebody that's so insanely powerful and they just overcome their limits by some random means and it's like okay they're stronger now but this guy was actually just beating the crap out of them yeah and it led to you literally dying yeah. because and, so- and then he had to succumb to uh sukuna just to just to come back literally oh yeah i didn't understand that one oh, he he doesn't have any sort of character development because he's just like a like one of those basic villains. Like all the other villains, you know, you get to know him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So I don't feel like he's like on par with any of the the villains that we see uh, later in the series. Right. Yeah. He doesn't even talk though. Like he literally doesn't say a word. He just attacks. He laughs, I think. Yeah, he laughs <laughs> and then he fights. That's it. But. I say just because of the pressure and the character development he pushed on to uh, Yuji and Nobara and um, what's his name? I feel like that at least earns him higher than D. I, I think he's. Yeah. I, I feel. I feel C on that. Well, what do y'all think? I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah same here. I also watched uh, the majority of the series on my phone on the bus, so. You know, I probably didn't get the full experience, but uh, whatever. On the bus? Huh? <laughs> on the bus? Uh, yeah, I was uh, taking a bus to the airport when I was uh. in Colorado. It was like three hours. So, anyway. <laughs> but um, I, I do not remember this person at all. I'm gonna be. Honest. She's she's the doctor baddie. Yeah. She was she was the baddie doctor that was there when UG died, like in the in the morgue. Oh, yeah, like just yeah, after yeah, the character yeah, we I just did. That now, yeah, she's so, pretty hot. So B for baddie. B for B baddie. For baddie. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, we don't get a whole lot other than that. So. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Is that Maki? Maki. Yeah. That's tier. Me personally, I I would put Maki above uh, Nobara. Honestly, I I honestly like Maki a lot more just because she doesn't have any sort of cursed energy at all. Yeah, yeah. She she throw she throws hands with everybody. Yeah. Is she's the Mike guy of Jujutsu? Yes, basically, she's the Mike guy of Jujutsu. He's a Naruto character, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, my favorite one. 
he can't use ninjutsu. <laughs> yeah. like he can't. He can't do special stuff. He just throws. So, out. so yeah. basically, everyone that everyone can do, like use like jujutsu energy. Uh-huh. She's that character that can't do it, but she's still good. Right. That's what that's what Mike guy was in Naruto, pretty much. I got you. Yeah, she she uh, you know overcomes her limitations, and she just you know like her her thing is she just doesn't. She's. She's got that mental she's got that mental toughness. She she gets it done. And she's thick. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. That's important. But there's that and there's also just it's like while everybody else is just kinda blasting cursed energy and powers and everything, she's having to like think of how to fight differently and she's gotta find new ways to do it while everybody else pretty much just starts blasting their powers at each other. Mm-hmm. So anytime you see her fight scenes, it's, it's kind of like Yuji. It's like you see other people, and they're like using all their powers and everything, and when it gets to her and Yuji, they're just kind of straight throwing hands. Yeah. But, yeah, she's... I can't think of much more to say about her. I think it's literally just because, I don't know, it's always something about the character that can't do the special stuff, and they have to find a new way to do it. They're always good characters. Mm-hmm. So, her, you got anything else to say about her? No, that's no, about some really. <laughs> All right, Panda B for Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember his name. Well, it's easy. Yeah, <laughs> Panda. I kind of, I kind of like Panda. I mean, he's I he's different, too. a little bit different. Yeah, and entertaining <laughs> as well. Yeah, but I wouldn't put him on the same level as the S tier people. No, I was thinking like A tier. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was thinking that too. He was he's cool and he is different, but I don't know. It's like it seems like other than just him kind of talking about what he is, like when he was fighting Mechamaru. Uh huh. I don't know. It seemed like there was wasn't a whole lot else to him. It was just like, yeah, this is kind of this is what I am, and it's like, okay, and that seemed like that was kind of the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, like not, he is a panda. Much, uh, not much uh, character development there. I mean, yeah, like, he's a panda. Actually, no, they said panda is not a panda. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was. That was it. All right, we got big baddie next. The main baddie. That, this this is this guy is the reason why I was hoping you would watch the movie. Because he's he's one of, a big part of the movie. Yeah, I I probably should have done that before we started making this video, but it's okay. Y'all 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 two handle it. Y'all two handle this one. Where you I'm been, not, Carter? I'm not gonna lie. I like we went and saw that movie in theaters. I don't remember how long ago that was, but I don't really remember much of the movie. You know, he's he's the main villain of of the movie, and he's oh. a he's a badass. I remember he was the main villain. I remember he was like dummy powerful. I just don't remember like specifics of what I remember he was strong. I just don't remember what he did. I and think his his power was he basically could absorb uh cursed spirits and then he could use them. Like basically like uh like pretty much like a puppeteer pretty much, I guess. Yeah. He he could use their powers. That's why he wanted to take that one curse that that one kid had, the the big girl that was following him. The yeah, the, the whole the whole premise of the movie, pretty much. I mean, he's a cool villain, but I don't know. As of now, his whole point has been he's just a strong villain. That's it. Like there hasn't been too much in depth about him. Well, that that part's at the beginning of the movie. He's he's basically. His whole goal, pretty much, just to sum it up, is he wants to kill everybody that's not uh, a curse user, like a jujutsu person. So he he calls all regular people monkeys. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he 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 wants to create a world where everybody is just has jujutsu energy, and anybody else he just kills them. Yeah. So he's so, right. So he's propagate like, uh, segregation. Yeah. S tier. So, yeah, I, I would put him in S or A tier because I think he's a very, I think he's a very good villain. He's one of the strongest characters in the anime, according he's, to them. 
Ah, uh, well, he's he's mad racist S tier. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Just that an make, appreciator. Makes a good villain. He's yeah. he's the same Jujutsu Hitler. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now I've got uh, this guy. Okay, this guy. I got all the names pulled up on Google. Let's see. What was his freaking name? He was the guy that could transform people. Yeah, he, uh... Their soul and, like, Yeah, change. and he, he killed uh, this guy right here. Yeah, Junpei. Yeah. Junpei, was, I just don't remember his name. I think it started with an M. Hmm. Hanami? It doesn't no. have a picture with it. Hmm. Uh, non... Hanami is the tree one. Oh, that's a character from... Fuck. What was his yeah, name? I thought this guy Either way. What is it? I thought this guy was uh pretty pretty spooky, you know, pretty uh you know, he seems to be sort of the one who's like really gonna make things happen in the future, you know what I mean? In like the future of the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So personally just because of the extremes that he went to and how it wasn't like again the whole thing with jujutsu is that it doesn't it doesn't really run like a normal shonen does like yeah it's got its tropes but it doesn't like stick to them hard right and i like that this guy like he was he again for for me a lot of the characters it like a lot of them really comes from like not just what they do like what their powers are and all that like i i really like when they cause actual development in main characters. Yeah. And he made Yuji kill humans for the very first time ever. Yeah. yeah. And made him, like, question himself and what he stands for and, like, really messed him up. And what this guy was doing was, like you said, he was pretty spooky. What he was doing was just, like, completely insane. Yeah. I thought he made... A really, really good villain. Yeah. But I was personally thinking S tier. Like, honestly, at this point, I would have put him in S tier, like, above the other guy. Yeah. He he was my... I thought he was the best villain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he... Uh, he, he I hate how the anime did it, because they made us like this... Like, start to like this guy that Yuji was, was hanging out with... You know, they put him in the opening. They made him seem like he was going to be a part of the crew, yeah. and then this guy just kills him in one episode, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a dramatic death or anything. He literally he transformed him, and he died in seconds. Like he he literally took this guy who we who was like the main focus for multiple episodes, like you said, and he just killed him in a matter of seconds. His name was Mahito, by the way. Mahito. That's yeah, yeah. I knew it had an M in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly put him above. I, personally, I would have put him above that other guy that's really strong, just because what he's done for the story was just so much more than what the other guy has done. Like the other guy's stronger, but Mahito has actually done so much more for the story. So true. Uh. All right, we got another baddie up next. Yeah. Honestly, I hate. I hate this character. I found I finally I told myself before this video that I I didn't hate any of the characters, but this is the one character that I actually hate. I yeah, was thinking about it, I forgot about her. Honestly, D for me. Yeah, I mean she's she's kind of a dick. Okay. Yeah, you remember and, her? And our, and our 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 Maki, you know, she's like anti Maki, so. Yeah. Yeah. Maki's sister, and she just and she hates her because the family treated Maki bad and then maki was like i'm gonna she's like i'm gonna gain the respect with what i'm able to do and all that and this girl's like how dare you do that instead of just being a a handmaid with me and that is literally her whole character that she hates maki because maki wanted to live her life her own way and for some reason the girl's family forced the sister to go with her yeah yeah she uses guns and guns just seem kind of Useless in this jujutsu world. That's true. Yeah, she people and it rips their clothes. That's about it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna launch a defense 
for her. I mean, not really for her, but just in in for her role within the show for a second. So, uh-huh. you know, you got her and Maki, right? You know, they're sort of like opposites. Okay. Mm-hmm. And sh- Maki wants to be, you know, part of the jujutsu thing so bad and uh this this girl doesn't want it at all and it's really interesting i think how they're both in it but just their different perspectives on it i think is is uh good for the show just to show that uh you know the contrast between the two of them mm-hmm. i agree i mean she's necessary to you know kind of show off maki's ultimate goals yeah yeah but the only thing that gets me is like i i do appreciate the contrast and the different look instead of it just being like oh jujutsu sorcerer is awesome like i like how they have characters that'll like say and do stuff that make you question whether jujutsu sorcerers are good or not Mm -hmm. and the contrast is nice but when her whole character I when it showed her backstory and her whole character was that Maki wanted to go off and do something, so the family was like, well, we're just going to punish her then, and it's like, what? Well, and then now she's just there not liking it, like, bruh, just tell your family you don't want to do it, and just don't, like, you just don't yeah, do she, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's she's definitely retarded, but she's also hot, so that makes up for it a little bit. Well, yeah, in terms of the hotness, now, let's, let's reevaluate this tier really quick. So, uh, what was the guy, uh, the one with the black hair, the main character? Um, Megami. Megami. So, potentially, uh, we saw how, we saw how she would flirt with him, and she was into him. She was filming. So, what if in the future we end up getting a Megami and Maki sister um, hentai? They're, they're they're part of the same clan, so uh, they're technically related. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be incest. <laughs> I. <laughs> with Megami and Maki's sister, so what? Uh, that up what when she gets stuck in the dryer and asks what her step sorcerer is doing, that's gonna <laughs> up gonna up the ratings. Just think about it. we're 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 gonna get a hentai scene with them, same clan or not. They're all you know they're all about that incest over there. They 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 you know that the family tree looks like a stick of bamboo, so. <laughs> we'll, we'll reevaluate yeah. after that happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, for now, we're just gonna leave it in the yeah. bottom. Okay. To, be con- <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. Now, I don't think there's any uh, debate on this one. No, I, none I think at all. He's definitely the top character. You know, he is such a gamer. Okay, because <laughs> you know he's a waifu connoisseur. That's how he judges everybody. Doesn't matter who you are. As long as you like a tall woman with a big butt, that's that's all that matters to him. He's a simple man. And if you don't like that, he's going to kick your ass. Yep. His power is really cool. Like, it's literally just changing positions with people, so it's not, like, strenuous for him to use it. Like, yeah. literally, just just switch spots. That's all it does. Yeah. And it, it's, it's very good for cinematography, too, as far as, like, how the fights look, because yeah. he's, like, constantly swapping places and throwing hands. Right. Uh, like, uh, his fight with uh, Yuji and the, and the tree guy was yeah. by far, to me, the best fight in the whole anime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. Him and Yuji are, like, literally the best, the best combo. Yeah. It was cool. Like, it was, it was a throwing hands compilation with him clapping and I, I love I love whenever it just has his own little flashbacks like it's him remembering something that literally never happened yeah. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the best part of his character yeah yeah like he saw whatever UG or that they were visiting uh, Megami in the hospital and it just like showed him th- it just showed a flashback of him and UG like in high school together yeah like they were high- <laughs> Oh, he's like, <laughs> they never knew each other. Yeah. So, good. Uh, ob- yeah, obvious S tier. Like, yeah. there's... What else is there to say? Yeah. No. And, I mean, even though his... Like, he's so good at using the power that he's got. Because, I mean, if you think about it, it's really... 
like not it's it's not that good a power you know just yeah. being able to swap places with people but he's he's gotten so good at it that he he makes it overpowered mm-hmm. he makes it incredibly useful he's found so many great ways to use it yeah and he can switch with more i think he can switch with more than just people too because he switched yuji and that one weapon that was in the river yeah yeah it's anything anything with cursed energy so any cursed like weapons or anything he can swap places with mm-hmm. and, and then like whenever he tricked hanami the the tree mm-hmm. uh hanami tricked her by clapping and not even using the power he just clapped so that she thought they were going to change and she turned and then got blindsided by yuji because they never switched spots yeah so yeah he's absolutely amazing his battles just flow like a perfect dance exactly yeah. i should really rewatch it on my computer and not on my phone because absolutely i mean the animation is, is definitely the best part of the show oh yeah Mm-hmm. And it soared in that fight. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of speaking of that fight, yeah, the tree guy. Tree. Uh, I mean, B. huh? I was thinking B tier. Yeah, just just for being there and and getting pummeled, you know, he, he deserves <laughs> <Yeah>. some credit. <laughs> He was in. He was the the guy in the main, in the biggest fight. So he, I mean, he's got that, but. Yeah. As a character, I didn't get a whole lot out of him. There wasn't a whole lot of character, you know, development or anything in, on him. Right. He's but, a tree. He wants to kill all the people. That's about it. Yeah. The thing, though, I don't think it's a cursed spirit like the other ones are. Because, I mean, whenever I got hit with Gojo's black hole thing, it's, it was, like, bleeding. And they were, like, dragging it away. Mm-hmm. Like, and he owned it when anybody else was getting... Like, I don't know. It's like, is is Mahito even a curse? Is Mahito a curse spirit? Do curse spirits just bleed like normal? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, this this guy was bleeding, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah you're, you're right. I was thinking about the other curse spirits that they had. I was trying to think about the first curse spirit that they exercised, like uh, Nobra and Itadori that they did together. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one whole thing i was trying to remember if it bled whenever it got its arm cut off or if it just cut off yeah i don't remember i think they killed it instantly so it like instantly disintegrated pretty much yeah i know they cut the arm off and then it ran away and smashed out the window and then they killed it. i just didn't remember if it uh was bleeding and all because like when they were fighting those two things that they thought were cursed spirits at first whenever he killed that frog it uh you know, got a big old hole punched in it, and it didn't disintegrate or disappear. It just laid there bloody and dead. And that's why I was wondering is if the cursed spirits, if cursed spirits actually bleed or not. Yeah, I think they do. Um... Yeah, they just like. They yeah, just, I guess they do. Yeah. I got off on a tangent though. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's like a homie. Eh, there, there hasn't really been anything other than just getting its ass kicked for, yeah. <laughs> for the fight. Yeah. Let's see. Let's now we've got uh, this guy who who speaks in uh, ingredients. Yeah, the <laughs> I always forget his name too. Yeah, uh, yeah. The names for these characters in this anime are like they the the only one that sticks is Toto and Yuji. Yeah, and Ma- like the other ones just don't stick. Well, they don't use their names that often. Oh, In- Inumaki. And they're too long. Their names are too long. Yeah, Inumaki is what his name is. Yeah. So, this guy, I mean, I feel like he was fine. Uh, I don't know. What, what do y'all think? He, was he, got, the- he got some more character development in the movie. Like, they didn't want to a mission together. Um, okay. You know... I mean, he does care about like his 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 teammates, you know, his people. Yeah. But I don't know. I like him. Yeah. He's he's all right to me. Yeah, he's. I mean, it's like when it since he can't talk without running the risk of cursing the people, then he has to talk in the ingredients so that he doesn't accidentally curse them. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get much of a chance to develop his character because it's not like he can just sit there and talk to people yeah 
Well, I mean, I uh, understand him though, but but we can't. Yeah, but I think I think uh, he's one of those characters, like Jonathan said in the movie. You could tell that he cares. It's like he. It's more of like the act, like his actions and his facial reactions on like what it, it's like what he does, not what he says that kind of shows what his character is. So honestly, I put him with Panda. Yeah. Personally, because he is a good character. Like he's better than the tree. But there was also I also thought A tier because that one meme, like whenever Toto and uh, what's his name were fighting when they first met, uh, Blackhead did whenever the yeah. Toto and Blackhead yeah, 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 fighting. Yeah. yeah, the whenever he told him to stop it, uh, stop when he said stop right there. I remember I saw a meme of Toto, and when he opened his jacket, he said shit yourself, and then Toto violated. <laughs> 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 that meme, that meme alone bumps him to A tier. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good meme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy, this guy, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> I think you're good right where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He- he he's got that sick metal guitar though. Like he's got the whole metal oh, with the guitar right. and that fight spirits. Yeah. Okay, you can put him above. It's still a D tier, but above that lady, that yeah, chick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, above her, but still D. Yeah. That's good enough. <laughs> Fuck oh, that guy. Just try. Uh, just wants to kill Yuji for no reason, man. Yeah. Well, like has he not? Uh, like has he not shown that he's that he's committed? Doesn't make I mean, sense. His his reason is not that it's a bad reason, but there's like when you got people like Gojo, yeah, you like it's there's no worry. It's like you, the dude is so powerful that if Sukuna like actually just went on the loose, Gojo could literally delete him whenever he feels like it. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like Gojo could honestly just delete a full-powered Sukuna anyways. Yeah, he's, mm. he's pretty OP. Yeah, that's the thing. He's so overpowered that what would it matter if, like... Because, like, that, uh... You know the one... You know the one guy... I actually think he's on the list. Yeah, he's, like, next to the Mechamaru, who's by the ball... is the dude who has, like, the volcano head. Yeah. yeah. They said that he was as strong as nine of Sukuna's fingers, and Gojo literally, like... The dude could not touch him and Gojo just ripped his head off without any effort whatsoever. He just pulled his head off. Yeah, it's I think all... he was worth four. Huh? I think it was four. I'm pretty sure they said nine. All right, they so said he... look it up. Yeah, they said he was about as strong as nine of Sukuna's fingers whenever he was sitting in the cafe and he lit everybody on fire and the super powerful villain, he asked him, he's like, oh, how many fingers would you say I'm as strong as? And he said, I'd measure about nine. And Gojo literally ripped his head off without any issues. Like, the guy could not touch him. He played with him so much that he held his hand. Yeah. Oh, we can move on to the next character. I'll look this up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, her, uh, her whole character is that she's in love with um, Blindfold yeah. Guy. Yeah, Blindfold Guy's Gojo. Yeah. She... Yeah. <laughs> She got pwned and in the forest she got she got owned in like half a second and then she just sat there the rest of the time. Yeah, Maki destroyed her. I think C for Cuck. She got <laughs> fucking wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She... Oh, and uh, you were you were right. It says they said it was worth eight or nine. Exactly. Yeah. Like but that's, the principal's, like, fear of Yuji makes no sense. It's like, Gojo, the dude's supposed to be as strong as not as in his fingers, and Gojo, with literally one arm, just ripped his head off whenever yeah. he fought, and it was that, over. That would be, like, less than half of Sukuna's fingers, but still, the fact that he could just so easily rip his head off like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, what would the principal even have to be scared of? He has no reason to try to get Yuji killed right now. If something happens, Gojo can just kill it. Yeah. Who's that? I have no idea. <laughs> you don't know who that is? No. I don't. This oh, is the oh, girl. Oh, no. That's, that's oh, Toto's no. girl. Oh. It's Toto's wife. Oh. Toto. Put her <laughs> next to Toto. Right next to him. Right, right next yeah, yeah, to yeah. Toto. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> What's her? I don't even remember her name, dude. I don't know. But, uh... It gets <laughs> to get a handshake with her. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was so funny when, uh... uh when Takada. Her... Huh? Takada uh, is what her name is. His favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was so funny when Toto got rejected in his own fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, well, Toto's awesome. <laughs> At least he knows where he stands. Nah. Yeah. There's nothing to say about her other than she rejected Toto in Toto's own fantasy. <laughs> 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 He's a cuck. But, uh, Junpei. That's Junpei. Yeah. Junpei, yeah, that's what that guy's name was. S tier, honestly. Really? Him? He, he I, got like... his ad, he, I mean, he wasn't worth much more than just character development for Yuji. Yeah. I mean, his character was good. Like, he was at the school, he was getting bullied constantly, and then he was friends with Mahi. But, like, it was one of those, like, tragic stories. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, like, like Oedipus. It was, uh, like, it was building him up and everything, and he, and, like, he really cared about his mom and all, and yeah. whenever... He lost his mom. You can still see how much it just like her. Like he had so much emotion and so much depth for the short amount of time we had him. Like characters that we've had since nearly the beginning, mm-hmm. who they just have not developed. This dude had so much more depth in his character than people we've seen since like episode two. And this dude was only around for a couple episodes, and he died. And it. It, it was still like great. Like his story was just like ten out of ten, fantastic. All right, you've you've convinced me. I didn't <laughs> like him. I, I I to me, I would put him B tier at best. But that's just me. I didn't like him. I, I well, he was just he was just some guy who cried a lot. I mean, he did cry a lot, but I mean, he also had. I mean, he had reason to because he was. Uh, bullied and tormented so much and, yeah it was uh, like you know i mean he he fell in with with this guy so i can sort of fault him for that but at the same time he was so uh he was so alone i mean it's yeah it's, like it's when it's understandable when he was being bullied it was it's like he wasn't even he wasn't like a bad person even when he fell in with the other guy because Right, when he was telling Yuji about it, the whole reason he was trying to believe that people didn't have hearts is because it was like it was like breaking him, thinking that people could just hate him so much that they would want to hurt him and his mom for no reason. Yeah. And he did he did cry a lot, but like I said, he was alone. And him and Yuji were literally going to be best friends. Like they were actually just going to be straight up best friends without a shadow of a doubt until he died. Yeah. But the crying a lot, I can feel that. I, I feel like maybe we split the diff, put him in A. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, hmm. you, you mentioned Oedipus, and, uh, you know, if I had a mom that looked like his, I, I might go down the same path. I'm just saying. <laughs> I remember me pulling Oedipus. <laughs> <laughs> On a voyage, forget his dementia-ridden mother, come home. <laughs> <laughs> Not a me. Donami's the goat, man. Yeah, he's he's up there. So, I I hate when you know, gives us uh, non optional overtime, and Nanami also hates overtime. So S tier. <laughs> yeah, just just a fellow working man, you know. He uh, he's... he he uh, beasted on that uh, Baker girl. Uh, you know, he was, she was like, "What's wrong?" And he's like, "Yeah, I make so much more money than you. It's just sad." <laughs> he he just absolutely flexed on her how rich he was, and that was a pretty game. That was a pretty gamer move. That was a pretty ballsy flirt he did there. And yeah. all I mean, he's rocking the white, you know, suit and shit. Yeah. And, you know how in the uh, in the show it talks about how he has the record for black flashes that were consecutive. It actually showed that scene in the movie, that fight where he got that record. Yeah, nice. And Dude, it's, it's, he's he's lit. He's he's a great character. He keeps things professional. Yeah, not pro- he puts the uh, personal to the side and tries to stay professional. Yeah, 
and he hates overtime. He builds his 180 cars for the day, and he goes home at 3. And he just, when it's overtime, he just goes hard. Yeah. <laughs> he tries to get the job done as quick as possible. Yeah. Exactly. S tier. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut out the part where you mentioned where we work because I don't, <laughs> I don't want people being able to track us down. Anyway. Yeah. My bad. No, you're good. Yeah. Was, <laughs> that, was that the teacher? Yes. Oh, oh that's the guy's gonna put D tier. I hated that guy. Yeah, who cares about him? Yeah. Just fat people are so pathetic, man. Do you ever see somebody that's so fat you just you just see him and you get pissed off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> how do you how do you every time they came through the fucking drive through at McDonald's? Yes. Uh, I'm glad you dripped his pants off. Yeah. I don't even remember that. Right, <laughs> right, MILF. Forget the fat dude. MILF. MILF B for Batty. B for Batty again. B for Batty. Wait, wait, no, that's June wait. Pay's mom. That's June I know. B for Batty. We can't put her above him. Just but put she's a B for Batty. She's a Batty, but she's also a Batty. Yeah. B for Batty. Put her with the other Batty. Okay. All the Batties that don't have much character. Just put them in B for yeah. baddies. Uh, there's a stupid witch. D tier, but above the fat guy. Yeah. Uh, put her above the other chick, too, because I don't like... I, yeah. don't, I, I really don't like that other chick. Actually, put her... Put the other chick below the fat guy, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Come on. At least she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. She's got tits. That's all. Right, that's up to you. That's up to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So the reason I don't like her is uh, because... That one scene when they were in the forest, uh, she started complaining about, like, uh, you know, feminism and how, you know, uh, women are expected to be cute or whatever. And then uh, this girl just calls her a retard. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, Mechamari was next. Honestly, I put him top of D tier personally. Yeah, we didn't get much. I mean, he's he's all right. He was uh, interesting, but he just kind of complained about how he was always in pain and live and he like lives in a bathtub and gamers don't bathe. So D tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is a gamer. Yeah, he is. Uh, mm, um, yeah. I'll go up to the bottom of C tier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see. you know, I, I I hate to do a fellow gamer like that. Yeah, we got we got to treat though, our gamers on respect. Even though he is pretty pathetic, it's still it's it's still tough. Um, <laughs> and then volcano. volcano guy. Uh, he was just there for comedic values, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, he was just talking all this all this crap, and then he got so completely destroyed. He's got British teeth too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I I put him with the other cursed spirit in C, honestly. Okay. That's what I was feeling. He was I mean his fight like his the powers he was doing was cool, but it was just like eh. Yeah, I mean but, it, it didn't really matter because he was up against uh blindfold guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean honestly he was just kinda like for Gojo to show off to to uh to Yuji. Yeah. And well, he's still so we could get more from him later. That's true. Yeah, we could. He's he's just ahead right now, right? Oh yeah. no, they back on. Like, oh, he'll, like, he'll grow everything back. Yeah. yeah. He's he's back to normal, but he's just still alive. Yeah. 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 We got this this dude who was who's from one of the big families. I don't know, I don't know who this is. He was the one that was fighting uh, Megumi before the tree guy attack. Yeah. He, he had a, he rocked a bow. Oh yeah, and it's like that blood eye. Yeah, he's he's, just, he's relatively strong, I think. Yeah, it's one of the main families. He's okay. Yeah, I, I, I definitely put him above. I like, yeah, I put him in B tier maybe because he's he's definitely one of the stronger characters at least. Mm -hmm. And I think he'll end up actually being somewhat decent later in the series. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can't argue that. Yeah. Who is that? Um, she's she was like the uh the director person oh. of the other school. 
Yeah, she's oh, like she's the like Gojo. The blind, she's like the blindfold guy of the other school. Yeah, yeah. Bad. baddie. B for baddie. Yeah, she's a baddie. Yeah, and she's actually a strong baddie. So yeah, she got that big yeah. scar. Yeah, I put her at the top of B. B for the biggest baddie. Yeah, yeah. biggest baddie. Now, me personally, I think we should rank this next guy with the guy that he also goes with, which is like two over. Because those were just like the same guy in the same fight, pretty much. Yeah. Wait, who is he? I, I can't see too well on the phone. Oh, wait, no, is he not the guy? No, he's not the guy I'm thinking of. He's, uh, that's, that's sitting it soon. That guy was one of the, the one that wanted to make a, a coat rack out of Gojo's bones. Oh, oh deep. coat rack guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coat rack guy. Um, deep. That guy. Above the fat guy? Yeah, still above the fat guy. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking he was the, the other guy from the last fight. Uh, the orange one. The one with the frog. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was this one, right? Yeah, that was that one. Yeah. Okay. This girl... I would say I would say B for batty, but she drives a car, so C for car. <laughs> Yeah, but underneath the other car. Yeah, underneath him, yeah. 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 She's not as good as him. And she was kind of annoying that one episode. Um, That's true. Yeah. She, wanted to, she wanted to stop them from doing stuff. Yeah. Like, oh no, guys, don't do not do the thing you train for. Exactly. Like, a lot of these characters, problem. like, they're just, they haven't had, like, anything to them. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's just so many, and it's, it's not that many episodes. True. Uh, where do you want to rank these guys? Um, C for curse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're they're both dead. Yeah. yeah. We need to get a good fight fight scene out of them. Yeah, I would, I would say at least B, because uh, you know that last fight scene was put, uh, put the guy the wings guy in B, but put the other guy in C. Because that other guy was useless. This guy, yeah, the fuck. Yeah, he was kind of yeah. useless. He didn't do anything. He just sort of like, He's yeah. Dead. This guy was the one with all the dialogue. Oh yeah, he was the one with the power. Yeah. It was right though, you were right on that. I don't Who know. Who this, this is Megumi's sister. Oh yeah, yeah. She was pretty bad. And beef <laughs> baddie. Yeah. She's a baddie. <laughs> oh, oh, into the baddies, but she's a baddie. Yeah. All right, this this guy we haven't gotten anything out of really besides like a short scene at the end. He is like the third brother, the other two that was in the last fight scene. Oh, yeah. okay. So he's stronger than both of them. Yeah, well, but we 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 haven't seen see anything. It. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know the frog in C maybe. I mean, I we just we haven't gotten, gotten anything out of him. Yeah, but he's still better than the fat guy. Like, come okay, on, put him above. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Sakuna. Sakuna. Um, he didn't do as much as I thought he would. You know. Not yet. Um. Yeah. B for Batty. B for Batty. I'd put him in A. I, I, he's at least he's the strongest curse alive. He's got that going for yeah. him. Yeah. And he's done a lot of good uh, character development for Yuji. Right. Yeah. Um, I guess the next person... I remember her. She's like the schoolgirl that was with Yuji at the very first like episode. Yeah. Well, I guess they're both in that picture, the two from episode one. Yeah, both of those friends that he had. So we'll just... They're, I mean, we're, they're characterized together, I guess. Yeah. And they were they were gamers. They like to have they made a whole club, literally just have a room to hang out with. And they were bending they were uh, bending the rules just to have a game area. Yeah. Was... Yes, yeah, C two. Gamers. <laughs> gamers. Yeah. Uh, now we got. Meg. Wait, what's his name? Meg. Meg. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I thought the last I thought the last fight scene he had was really good when he like finally went all out. Yeah, I mean they were they were building it up like yeah. the entire series yeah. for him to do something and I'm glad they finally did something with him. Yeah. Uh I enjoyed him. I did too. Yeah. Is we 
y'all say he's like S tier good or just like top of A tier? I mean, I don't enjoy him as a character as much as all the people in the S tier. Yeah. I I mean, I'd put him above Panda. Let's yeah. just put him above Panda in A tier. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm fine with that. Because he's, uh, you know, he's definitely uh, more serious than the rest of them. Yeah, he's right. No. Now we got uh, he, he Grandpa. D tier, he died episode one. He's weak. Above the fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I liked him. I thought... Uh, I, I, I was, think I we, he at least deserves the respect of like C or B tier somewhere in there. Yeah. B. Yeah, I thought his final words were pretty good. Yeah, but he also died episode one, so kind of mid. Well, he's old, so I mean, come on. Yeah. And he's going in the ba- yeah, move him to B for baddie. Yeah. It bad B for bad. Yeah. <laughs> to B for bad. Or, or he... D for dead. <laughs> Oh, here I'll put him next to the baddies. Yeah, give him the baddie, give him a harem. Yeah, he's uh, he's in uh, oh, what's it called? What's what's uh, what what do they call heaven in Islam? Where you get the seventy-two versions? Fantasy. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he died, and and now he's getting his seventy-two virgins. <laughs> Even, died, even though one of them is a mom, she's still a virgin. <laughs> now we got uh, Yuji, who I would say is easy S tier. I agree. But where in S tier would we put him? <clears throat> Below Maki, but above Nobura, maybe. I'm good with that. Yeah. MC. I th- I think I I would put um shoot what is his name again? Nanami I put I put Nanami above uh, both of those two guys at the bottom at least. Yeah, I put him right below Nobura. All the way on the right, the glasses guy, overtime guy. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are we going to talk about Yuji? I I like Yuji. I mean, he's the main character. Yeah. So obviously he's going to be well liked. He's gonna be strong. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a really good character for sure. Yeah. I, I like I like his hairstyle. I do too. I like. I'm the, drawing uh, blanks on what to actually say about him though. <laughs> yeah, I well, feel like we've already said so much just in talking about other people. Yeah. His whole character is like everything that he stands for. He's constantly, like, finding out why that's, like, what he stood for originally just isn't really sustainable, and he's still figuring himself out, so that's why I like him for here, because he's constantly developing, and he's not, like, an character. I mean, when you had, like, when you had, like, Naruto and Goku, their whole mission, it never changed or developed. All that really changed is they got stronger, and I mean, it's like Naruto got a little bit more of a... He got, like, a little more perspective, I guess, but his whole personality literally never changed. He was always exactly the same all the way through. Yeah. And, like, you, like, even through the episodes we've had, like, yeah, Yuji will still do some stupid stuff every now and then, but it's like he's... You know, like, it's only been one season, but he's already matured a lot. Yeah. That's true. And, well, he's no. got, and he's got a good taste in waifus. Yeah, that's that true. And he's got they, that mental game because he can keep uh, Sakuna, you know, yeah, under wrap. He, yeah. Yeah, like he's, he's a really good character. And I like that as a main character, he's. I like how the main characters in this anime, like they actually develop and change and all. Like they don't just stay the same and get stronger. Right. Like, they, their whole outlook on everything is like constantly changing and developing, and that's that makes them that it makes any of the main characters honestly, except for Megami, solid S tier because Megami's still kind. Of, uh, he's I like his powers. He's still kind of quiet. Yeah, he's quiet. A little, he's a little boring right now. Like when he fights, it's cool, but other than that, he's kind of eh. yeah. That's just his personality, though. I think. Which yeah, is fine. I mean, it's good to have that contrast, but but it's it's not an S tier worthy personality, right? 
now we got uh gojo satoru yeah the man himself very overpowered uh i like him you know he's he's uh laid back and it's i mean funny. he's he's super strong but he doesn't like make a big deal about it he's funny he's, he's pretty chill yeah He's always a really fun guy. Like whenever he pops in, it's always it's always really good. Yeah. Like it's always a good time. And uh, I'd I'd say he's just because the level of fun he brings in, regardless of his strength, I'd put him in. I'd call him S tier, but yeah, I think he's a solid S tier as well. Yeah, I'd, I think he belongs be uh, probably right below Nanami, maybe. This guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's right there. Okay. Who is this guy again? The principal. I thought the old guy was the principal. No, the, the old guy is the principal of the other school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. This guy is the principal of our of the Jujutsu Kaisen, or Jujutsu High. Yeah. Whatever yeah. school they he, go to. He literally created Panda. Yeah, he did create Panda, so that's, we got to put him in the right. same. Yeah, yeah, he created he created all those like all those creatures. <laughs> yeah, the cursed dolls. Yeah, and he's he's pretty swole too. He is. I think A tier for abs because <laughs> he does have abs. Yeah, and he's pretty. He's a pretty cool character. Yeah. Yeah, there's about him. Wh what? I think there's there's just not. I, I don't feel like there's a whole lot to say about the principal. He's just been around a couple of times and he has like the cursed dolls and he made panda but that's yeah. like him as a character we haven't really seen much yet and then uh yeah true and is his greatest creation yeah that's about it that's what we know yeah all right this guy i'd, I'd put him with the bones coat rat guy yeah yeah that's pretty much i mean he, he was in the same like raid as him pretty much so i mean it wasn't really a whole lot Mm -hmm. I feel like he got his ass beat by our number one B tier waifu. I think that was where he, who he fought during that. Yeah. I, I actually don't know if they fought. I think he ran away before they fought. That's true. He oh. probably. I think he did. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's even worse then. Yeah, yeah that the, is worse. The veil got destroyed, and the mm. all that he just ran right before they fought. That's right. I remember now. Now we got this girl. Another baddie. B for baddie. B for baddie. I, I put her above the the, the sister. Nurse. Yeah. Above the nurse? Oh, oh dude, man. she's a she's a baddie. Whoa. Do, do you know she she has a good like a good fight scene in the in the movie? Okay. But, she's she's all about that money. She's all about that bread. Okay, she but doesn't do shit. Nurse. She gets paid. The nurse. The nurse? Yeah, but she she's got more like. Scenes and development than the nurse does. Okay, but the nurse can wear scrubs, and scrubs really show off the, uh, the curves of scrubs. I mean, look, let's, let's, let's see. What, what's her name? Um, uh, I'll debate this till I die. The nurse is hot. Oh, she's definitely hot. I mean, you're, you're, not, you're just not seeing what I'm talking about, though. And now you're going to put her above the MILF? <laughs> Yes! Um, Have you not seen the braided chick? I see the braided chick, but you're She's putting... an S-tier baddie, but she's a B-tier baddie because it's that's where we're putting all the baddies. You, you would put her above the MILF and yes. above the nurse in the scrubs. Yes! You cannot, you cannot put her above the principal. But she's because... also a jujutsu sorcerer. Don't forget the that part. She's above them. A you can't put her above the dominatrix. <laughs> oh, her name is her name is May May. That's her. Wait, name. who's the dominatrix? <laughs> I the don't even know. <laughs> the one at the top of the B list. She's it. She's the. Uh, isn't she the principal of the sister school? Uh, no, she's the teacher she, of she's that the, school. She's oh, the she's just, blindfold guy of the other school. Yeah, she's the Gojo of the other school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a dominatrix. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely wouldn't put her above above her. I don't think I don't think you've I don't think you guys really appreciate what the what scrubs can do. All right, fine, just put it right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will observe this. The nurse. I disagree. 
You Whole disagree? Heart. You think she's when, not hot? Well, who are you talking about? The nurse? The nurse. No, I was saying I disagree with where we're putting her, you know, I, below the nurse. I, I still feel like she belongs above the nurse. Well, listen. Milf got disrespected there. It was in the, she was in the anime for, like, less than an episode total. <laughs> She's a milf. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you don't well, move her. Leave her. She... <laughs> I was the young gravy. Young gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta appreciate the milfs. Uh, yeah. She she does smoke, though. Oh yeah, you're right. Which, okay, go go ahead and drop her one tier. Yeah. No, I'm not dropping her one tier. tier. So I'm not dropping her no. tier. I'm just saying. I just. I think it. I think maybe that maybe the dead sister might be above her because she smokes. Is it, is she dead though? I don't know. If she's dead. I don't know. She's, uh, oh. She might be paralyzed right oh, now. Oh, she's just cursed. She's just cursed. Yeah, she's, right. she's not dead. She ain't dead yet. Yeah. And now we got the smoker next to the grandpa, and that's not okay. He's bedridden. That's not good he's for him. He's already me. dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, but he's not in the middle of his 72 virgin. <laughs> he never was. Dead. He was always right there. Are you saying <laughs> he built the gates of Allah, but he never quite passed the thresholds? No, I'm saying he just entered through the gates and he's staring out at his 72 virgins. He's got to start it with... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Not like he's going to get lung cancer. He's dead. All right, and he, she still is a MILF. Yeah. So that's... This is the most important part of the list is ranking the baddies. So true. Like, forget everything else. The baddies are where it's at. Yeah. Like, do you not know, remember the One Piece tier list when half the girls were rated based on feet time alone? <laughs> well, I mean, there there is a, uh, you know, a One Piece waifu tier list. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking once we get to the time skip, that might be a good time to do it. You know. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta finish through the bark. Yeah. Yeah, Carter, you're holding us back, man. As... I, I did just remember that. What, have any of the girls in Jujutsu had straight up just feet time on screen, like bare feet? Um, I don't think so. Well, Crap. Nobra's feet have been there a lot, but she's been wearing shoes every time. Yeah. No, if 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 there was, I would remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say we might have to readjust this list if there was feet time. No, there's no feet. Yeah. But I was watching on my phone, so I couldn't really see that well. Uh, That's so, okay. I just have to rewatch the whole series just to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> so do every second, look at every frame. So, I think the list looks good. Yeah. I think it's solid. I think it's a good solid ranking there. Yeah. Obviously, total number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's an obvious one. Yeah. And fat guy at the very bottom. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He just he just sucked, dude. That teacher was just terrible. Yeah. yeah. Not the best. Alright, y'all got any any disparities here? Anything we need to discuss, maybe reevaluate? No. Mm. I'm looking through it and I'm I'm good with it. I'm happy with it. Yeah. I'm looking to just getting that final once over. Um Mm. Well, okay. Why did we drop this girl to C tier? Because I would say she's a baddie. She she took massive L's the entire time. Oh, that's uh, right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. she wasn't yeah. worth it. Yeah, she was she was just taking big L's, and then her whole personality was pretty much she she's like a fan girl. Yeah, she's a Gojo fan girl, and I seemed like that was about it. Like, yeah, there's there's nothing. Really like there's nothing big about her. Nothing that I'm like, oh yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my. I was just like, eh, you know, it's the blue haired girl with the sword again. And then when she finally used her sword, friggin' Maki just took it from her. Yeah, and she was useless. Yeah. Without her sword, she is completely useless. True. 
And then when she tried to use it on uh, Itadori, she was like, oh, let's me." She's like, this technique lets me react instantaneously. And then Itadori literally just jumped over it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So. It, it really says a lot about our society, you know, that uh, this girl is able to be a jiu-jitsu sorcerer even though she's terrible just because she's a woman. And she's, she's got good. probably a lot too, the blue hair. Yeah. Probably fought her way in there. Yeah, she's she's definitely mentally ill with that blue hair. Yeah. She's definitely got BPD or something. Yeah, she was, she was too busy arguing at a protest instead of training like she should have been. Yeah, she was she was too busy uh, posting black squares on her Instagram. Yeah, and then we got <laughs> Oprah up there literally calling somebody retarded because she's based. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would even look at her. She's got the tattoos, even though those aren't real tattoos. But she's got the tattoos. You know, she's she's yeah. a biker. Yeah, she's, she's based based biker Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the Biden supporter down in C tier. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's a good list. All right. Well, that's our uh, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen season one tier list. Uh, these guys, I'm going to put their, y'all want your Twitch, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. channels in the, de- in the description. Yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. 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 So go and check them out, I guess. All right. Bye. <laughs>